The aim of this short video is to illustrate how these samples might be collected for the Global Oil Study. Sampling would actually be done from a vessel that looks something like this, which might be a fishing trawler chartered for the purpose or converted into use as a research vessel. Once on site, the samples we could be collected using either a grab or a cora. This particular device is a cora. When you drop to the bottom, it will collect a sample and then a little lid will close to keep the sample in. A grab just operates like a set of jaws, drop to the bottom and grabs hold or bites up a sample of the sediment. Once the grab or cora is retrieved and opened on the deck of the ship, we'll be able to look at the sample and it might look something like this. This particular one is a fairly fine, gelatinous, muddy sample, but uh, in other environments we might get a coarser, sandier sample. Particle sizes of around about 100 indicate very fine mud, sizes of around about 1000 are sandier sediments. We would then go through the sample and extract the animals, perhaps sieving the sample first um, to get rid of most of the material. Three main groups of animals are typically found. This is an example of one of them, a polychaete, a marine worm. There are actually several different groups of worms that are commonly found in marine sediment. This is a, obviously a clam, a bivalve, an example of the second main group, the mollusks. Also turning up in the sample, along with clams and other kinds of bivalves, we might have gastropod mollusks or snails of one kind or another. The third main group of animals that would turn up in marine sediments are crustaceans. This is a crab, a fiddler crab, of the kind commonly found in shallower water. But we might find various other kinds of smaller and larger crabs and shrimps and other kinds of jointed legged animals or marine crustaceans. Together, the worms, mollusks and crustaceans make up about 80% of the biomass or diversity of the samples in most situations. For more information about the environment and about the assignment in general, load up the CD-ROM and go to Assignment 3 from the main page. You'll find copies of the documents uh, that are included as part of the assessment materials along with some information about how the environment is created and what it might be like. If you've got any questions, just email them through to me or call me or see me in class.